History is full of unusual images, but the truly unusual photographs are those that retain an eerie or downright disturbing quality even after their story is revealed. Surprisingly, some of the strangest historical photographs become even more bizarre when their story is revealed. To this day, the one-of-a-kind Wildman suit sits on display in the metal collection in Houston, Texas. A double-layered set of armor coated from head to toe in one-inch long, outward-facing iron nails, this suit remains as terrifying as it is mysterious. While it's widely referred to as Siberian bear hunting armor from the 1800s, others say it was used in the gruesome spectacle of bear baiting popular in Shakespearean England. But the true purpose of the Weldman suit remains largely elusive centuries later. John Smith was a Chippewa Indian from Minnesota who claimed to live to 137 years old. Long before his death in 1922, the Chippewa people referred to him as Gaby Na Jonwans, or wrinkled meat, due to his starkly creased face. However, some say that his facial appearance was caused by disease and not age. Though his real age remains contested, his gravestone in Cass Lake, Minnesota still lists his birth year as 1784. While it looks like something straight out of a vintage cartoon, Kangaroo boxing actually became pretty popular in the late 1800s. In both Europe and the United States, clowns and professional boxers alike would square off against these marsupials in front of frenzied crowds. The man seen in this weird photograph was sparring with a kangaroo in Berlin, Germany in 1924. In the decades that followed, the sport fell out of favor as many decried its abuses of the animals involved. There was a time when American children were sent through the mail. When the USPS officially launched parcel post service on January 1, 1913, it allowed customers to send large packages, including people, as long as they were no heavier than 11 pounds and had the proper stamp. Luckily, all the kids who were sent made it in one piece, and the USPS canceled this strange service after just two years. This photo was taken in 1899. Costumed people came out in droves to celebrate this day of Thanksgiving, and the holiday was thought to be the busiest time of year for vendors of masks and the like. But by the 1920s, this tradition began to wane, and the modern version of Thanksgiving became increasingly entrenched. While this may not look like a particularly weird historical photo at first glance, the story of Annie Edson Taylor is nothing if not astonishing. On October 24, 1901, her 63rd birthday, New York schoolteacher became the first person to go over Niagara Falls in a barrel and survive. While they never became widespread in offices around the U.S., people were seriously shopping this whiskey dispenser machine around at exhibitions in the 1950s and 1960s. This photo was taken in February 1960 at the second Automatic Bending Exhibition in London, England. Before the United States realized that celebrating nuclear explosions might not be the most sensitive thing in the world, the most dangerous weapon ever deployed inspired the Miss Atomic Bomb pageant. Held in Las Vegas, Nevada throughout the 1950s, the event saw showgirls like Lee Merlin compete for the title. Cynthia Albritton wasn't just any rock and roll groupie. In fact, she has been making molds of the penises of some of the most famous rock stars on earth since the late 1960s. Rightfully nicknamed Cynthia Plastercaster, she got people like Jimi Hendrix to dip their penises into a martini shaker filled with dental mold gel. Her work has been popular for decades and has been exhibited as recently as 2017. French wrestler and actor Andra the Giant stood 7 feet and 4 inches tall and weighed in at 550 pounds. His staggering size helped make him a beloved icon throughout the 1970s and 1980s. This photo shows him meeting one of his smallest fans in the early 1970s. It's easy to forget how much space computers took up. The first IBM machines were essentially separate rooms. In this photo, an attendant loads just 5 megabytes of memory into a Pan Am airplane in 1956. 
The uniform mob of smiling humanoid mice seen here were gathered for an early meeting of the Mickey Mouse Club in Ocean Park, California, circa 1930. NASA astronaut Buzz Aldrin took the first space selfie in history, long before smartphones, social media, or even the term selfie ever existed. Captured in 1966, this photo was taken during the Gemini 12 mission, Aldrin's first space excursion. Before Prohibition ended in 1933, gangsters and amateur bootleggers across America were making fortunes on the black market in liquor. But these bootleggers were also in the crosshairs of the authorities, who were hell-bent on catching them, as evidenced by this man's pleas to the police not to mistake him for a criminal or shoot at his car. You might think this precarious torch was made to give this Hawaiian man better visibility for nighttime fishing. On the contrary, the bright light of kukui nut torches served to attract fish in shallow waters. Made of kukai nuts wrapped in leaves, these torches drew the fish in. Then the fisherman's pointed spear finished the job. Not all failed inventions deserve to be remembered. This cigarette holder, however, certainly does. Photographed in 1955, model Francis Richards illustrates just how efficient this smoking device could be if you want to consume 20 cigarettes at once. In the 1960s, many bars in Turkey employed basket makers who would carry drunken revelers home if they were too drunk to stand on their feet. The likeness is striking. President Woodrow Wilson looks forward with hair cleanly parted and glasses firmly in place. Remarkably, this 21,000-person proto-flash mob was executed so diligently that it looks like a painting from afar. Captured on September 5, 1918 at Ohio's Camp Sherman, soldiers of the U.S. Army's 95th Division did an astounding job modeling the visage of their commander-in-chief. Chinese sailor Poon Lim was working aboard a British merchant vessel when it was sunk by a German U-boat on November 23. 1942. After surviving the initial strike, he managed to find an eight-foot wooden raft and a few supplies. Miraculously, he used what he'd found to survive the next 133 days alone at sea before he was ultimately rescued as he neared the coast of Brazil. Sharply dressed in suit and bowler hat, Hollywood inventor Joe Gilpin showcases his latest gift to the world in 1948. The motorboard was just what its name implied, allowing users to surf without the need to paddle or actually catch a wave. However, demand never really took off and the product was ultimately a flop. In 